Every single one of us are facing this challenge on a daily basis. Because the world is looking at you and saying, you know what? If you are gonna believe what you believe, then we're gonna cancel you. We're gonna cut your legs out from underneath you. In fact, we're gonna label you as some other things. We're gonna label you as unkind. We're gonna label you as simple-minded. We're gonna label you as, you know, a, a, that you are a, a, a hater of all kinds of people, that you believe in myths, that you are uneducated, that you are chauvinistic. There's gonna be all kinds of voices that are coming against you. And guys, we see it all the time, especially in a social media world. It's not uncommon now for somebody to lose their account because they just, they posted something that the world goes, no, if you want significance in our world, if you want a place at the table, if you want us to say, you're okay, you're good, then you better go along with the party line. You better go along with the value system of the wilderness. But can I just remind you that if you indeed are a child of God, your citizenship is not in this earth, it is in heaven. You are a citizen of heaven. You are a child of God. Ephesians chapter one says that you have not only been seated with Christ in heavenly places in Ephesians two, but you are blessed with every spiritual blessing that is in Christ Jesus in Ephesians chapter one. It says that you are not of this world. You are an exile. You are a sojourner and a stranger in this world, and you are destined to rule and to reign. And the only person in the universe who has the right to define you and to affirm you is the one who created you. You were created to live for an audience of one. You can have a million people applaud you and say, yes, you're acceptable. Yes, you're significant. Yes, you're important. And our insecurity will sit over here and go, good, good. Do you like me? Did I say the right thing? Did I post the right thing? Am I okay with everybody? Am I okay with you? Am I okay with you? Am I okay with you? And we got a whole world right now, even in the church of people who are afraid, walking around on eggshells. I don't know if I should say that. I don't know. And we're looking at the world like it's a landmine. Can I just tell you Galatians chapter one, verse 10, Paul says this. Am I still seeking the approval of man? Am I still trying to seek the approval of man. If I were seeking the approval of man, I would not be a servant of Christ. You can't live for the approval of the world and live for the approval of God. So you got to serve somebody. Who are you going to serve? Who are you going to obey? You got to choose it. Insecurity will make you live for the world. It will make you stand on the pinnacle of the temple like Jesus and say, okay, if I do this, will you, will you say I'm, I'm, I'm the son of God? And it will cause you to jump off the pinnacle and put God to the test. But if we have developed our identity in the environment of intimacy with the Father in hiddenness, we're able to come up out of the wilderness like John the Baptist. We're able to come up out into the wilderness like Jesus. And when the enemy comes with his great big if, say, your if doesn't matter. My father has already said, this is my beloved son and daughter in whom I am well pleased. And I'm willing to suffer right now in this world so that forever and ever I will have a divine yes and amen and well done from my father. 